Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of August the 12th, 2024, a Monday. All right, new week, interesting situation, not an easy situation. Let's get busy and let's look at this. This is a bear flag. This is what we talked about. This is where we left off on Friday. We are also aware of this dramatic bottom tail on the weekly, which indicates strong buying on higher time frames, larger players. Anything's possible, but right now I'm more inclined to look at this as a potential ba a pattern failure. Now, I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, that's with me, that's completely fine, because I might just change my mind and go short. Everything depends on price action. But please note, for me to really get bearish here, price must, let's say, come down here and close down here. Otherwise, it's still a potentially a failing bear flag, all right? However, if in the coming days, even tomorrow, whenever, this level breaks, then I think we might be justified, actually we would be justified to go long, treat this as a long trade. Now that is if you trade the four hour chart. If you trade the daily, then the rules probably would be a little different because then what I would insist on is at least one candle close above the 50%. Now that's not a scientific rule. It is just some kind of line in the sand before which I wouldn't act. But again, this is not a hard and fast rule. Certain intuition is possible. Discretionary thinking is possible. But by and large, I want a candle to close above the 50% convincingly for bulls long trades are justified. So this is how I see it. And until I have enough information to go either way, I'm standing by. And if I have to stand by for two weeks, then I'll be standing by for two weeks. There's no rush here. So this is what I'm, I'm insisting the market to give me information as to what is more likely to happen from here. This is how I see it. And this is how I think it's, that's the proper way of seeing it. Now, you could look at indicators or good indicators. They are quite helpful. And look at this. So we are in a bullish hot zone. I could paint the background, but it's obvious that we crossed over the zero line on the four hour. That's a bullish indication. All right. So if you ask me where I would place my bet, I would place my bet 60-65% to the long side from here and a lesser probability of this breaking down. Okay. Let's look at the NQ. All right, so we are dealing with a story here. It started with the failure test. Now, that's not a guarantee for a long-term move. A failure test could last 5, 10 signal, 5, 10 bars, and then its effect fades away into the past. So we don't know how long this might last. But right now, my reading is and my plan is the same as on the ES and the situation on the end, the technical information, the price information on the chart is the same also as the ES. Let's look at the RTY. Okay, we have to remember this blowout candle here. That could be an indication of a longer term trend beginning. So this could be, if we look back at this, let's say down six months down the line, we might look at this candle, oh, that's where it started. That's, that's quite possible. So we have to be, if we are bullish, and we are, I am at the moment, we have to be very careful not to be sidetracked or biased by our bullishness too much. So we are bullish, yes, but we are also reading the situation. And also, very important, look at this. This is very typical. We are in a range, then we have a failed breakout to the upside, and then we have a failed breakout to the downside. This is typical. And the next journey could be back to the top. Any other information, if we start visiting this area here and we close the day in this area, that's of course very bearish, then we have to go into the next day, the next session with a bearish mindset. There's lessons here and important lessons here. This is just the natural state of the market, which is ambiguity. 
insecurity and lack of enough information. Nobody knows what's going to happen. It would be naive to think that there's anybody knows what's going to happen. The trick is to read where price is going, okay? And shift sides as we receive new information from the market. Beautiful, let's move on to currencies. So I'm looking at the 6C, the situation is not obvious, of course. Why would it be, right? So this would be a good bullish setup for me if we didn't have this big blowout candle, which is a big red sign, but or a red flag for me. But having said that, this could still move to the weekly chart on which the scandal is not finished yet. You see, so we might still break out to the upside based on the weekly. I'm on the lookout for this, but right now, I don't think there's anything to do for me on the four hour chart or on the daily until price moves. Now the 6A and the 6B, 6C, I also want to look at. So 6A, bull flag here, and the breakout area. If this goes, then we are interested in long. And I do know that we are still below the ADX and the halfway in the Keltner. So we're not supposed to be too bullish yet, and we are not. But if we go, it's just a four-hour trade. All right. I also, let's look at the British pound. British pound, what seems like a failure test, and this often leads to a measured move. So this is one possibility here, and the weekly is what might be driving this move here. Also, Canadian dollar is bullish. So all this indication, all these major currencies point to USD weakening gradually, but not easily and not so obviously. But look at this, there's another bull flag on the Canadian dollar. And three times we held this level, that points towards the upside as well for now. All right, let's see the CL. CL is moving up. Perhaps there's a slight relationship between the Canadian dollar and CL. Traditionally, there's a little correlation. And here is the CL moving to the upside. So you may be interested in pursuing this. Also, next one, gold. So we are in commodities right now. Gold is definitely likely to move to the upside. SI, I think it's still the same story. So I think it's worth being bullish on SI, although the day-to-day -day battle is not so easy. Bitcoin bull flag, this is one of the easiest readings here. That doesn't mean that it could not fail. But I think Bitcoin is perhaps also an indication of where the indexes are going because traditionally, which means years and years back, there's a correlation between Bitcoin and the indexes. This is just an indication that Bitcoin is not really looked at by the market as a currency, rather as an asset. Okay, so be mindful of that. This is a good long setup here. Also, natural gas we mentioned last time, no big deal, but there's a little long trade here for us, potentially. Look at this, setting up towards a target, which is the previous pivot, around 2.3. Beautiful. That's the other one that looks good for tomorrow. Potential short on wheat, although it doesn't really look like it at the moment, but I'm looking at this as a bear flag on the daily. It needs to trigger before we could think of a short trade on the daily. If you're not trading this market, you might want to focus on something else because agriculturals have their own life. So this is what we're dealing with. Also, we are busy here and Wednesday we're gonna have a webinar. I think it's on the Wednesday, it's on the 14th anyway, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Very interesting webinar for shark indicators, shark week in progress next week, and we're going to build what we already built with the standalones. We're going to build right in front of your eyes a bloodhound version of our system. Also, 3.90 is ready for rollout. We're just getting ready with a little technicalities here, documentation and stuff, and we'll have a offer also, I think, timed for Shark Week. So a lot happening, good things are happening, and excellent new 
exciting developments in 3.90 standalones BT and BTX. So be sure to understand what this program can do and how it can carry the load for you and do the math, even risk management and many other advanced functionalities that would take us 10, 15 minutes to figure out, of course, for which we do not have time when we trade, but BT does that automatically in a millisecond. So get down to it if you haven't yet, and we'll be back in the morning. Until then, mindful trading.